Hey guys, I know we're all excited to watch the new Avengers movie, but let me talk about my superhero, which is Linux. Linux is an amazing tool that has helped me develop my career and it has helped countless and countless of businesses do smart engineering for their systems and also just have a pretty cool and fun system to work on. We're gonna go over Linux basics today. Okay, so I wanna do a brief overview of what we're gonna cover. So I'm, first of all, what is Linux, you know? Uh, if you don't know what Linux is, we're definitely going to cover that. Functions. So what can we do with Linux? What is it that it makes Linux so special? Like, why don't we just use Windows, which obviously works, and Mac OS? Well, we're about to find out. Jobs available. Hmm. So what if I learn this skill or if I'm an employer, what am I looking for? Like, what Linux jobs are available? The future. Very interesting because... There's so many possibilities to build with Linux. And now that we're all moving to the cloud, Linux is boss in the cloud. Even if, um, well, I'm going to stop myself there and talk more about that later. Let's carry on. So what is a Linux? Well, Linux is an open source, uh, open source operating system. So it's based on the GNU tools and Unix. Uh, it was created by Linus Torvalds, which is the creator of Linux. He saw how useful Unix was, and back in the day, Windows was a complete piece of crap that couldn't multitask. Believe it or not, Windows was a very horrible operating system, and Unix was a superior operating system because it was just so robust and could handle multiple connections. Uh, this is a modern Linux GUI, but this is not this is not what makes Linux special. What makes Linux special is when what's underneath the engine or what is the engine, as I would say. So what makes Linux so amazing is the fact that it provides the building blocks for services, architecture, and software. So Linux runs a lot of things. It's so robust, it just does everything, which is really cool because you have the building blocks to create lots of cool stuff like Reddit. And I don't really care for Reddit that much. I do uh, surf some uh, subreddits, but you know, that's pretty cool. Somebody made this application and it's running off Linux. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Linux machine because it's a Python application. Anyways, so definitely used by a lot of web servers. You don't have to pay for a license to use Apache because it's open source. It's a, it's a different license, but we'll go, uh, if you want to learn more about Apache, I would be glad to teach you, but this is not the time. So it's used by the government and Department of Defense, so it's a very secure system. Um, you Linux is very secure and it won't let you access things unless you're specifically asked to because we have ACLs. We have, uh, we have routing. Believe it or not, this operating system does routing and it's very, it's used by firewalls. You can make a Linux firewall. It's just very amazing um, for security. Runs on your phone. Believe it or not, Android is a Unix, what's well, a Linux system, and believe it or not, Mac OS is based off Unix. So there are some similarities. It's not, it's not that Mac is Linux, because Mac is a completely different beast in itself, but it has its roots from the Unix system, and um, also runs on some TVs. Uh, there's very few um, TiVo has a uses a Linux kernel. It's not full-blown Linux, but it uses a Linux kernel. Uh, so does the iPhone. Now you can do a lot of, uh, not the iPhone, sorry, the Android phones. They uh, have a Linux kernel that loads everything, and it's we can go more about how Linux works on the inside on another course. Um, a lot of machinery uh, runs on Linux. Um, you at least has an interface that has Linux that does a lot of cool stuff. And IoT devices are definitely Linux because you don't want to be spending uh you don't want to spend the licensing just to have a device that's reading your temperature in your house you know so it's definitely a very robust system and it just handles a lot of stuff another big advantage about using linux is the fact that it's open source so open source necessarily doesn't mean that it's free but it does mean that you're free to view the source code so since we're free uh bah, free to view the source code we can develop different applications and create derivatives such as Debian, which comes from Linux, from the OG Linux kernel. So somebody took the OG Linux kernel and developed Debian and it has its own specific GNU tools. 
Uh, it has its own software packaging and it uses its own repositories. And on the other hand, we have Red Hat, which spawned CentOS and other different Linux distributions. And over here we have Android and TiVo and some other stuff that is developed with a Linux kernel. But, you know, it that's how it was born. And obviously we have the TiVo, which is a little bit more closed source. Um, there's some licensing stuff that you can talk about and get into debates about. But um, that's what's so cool about open source is the fact that you can develop your own applications from somebody else's work. Uh, now you do have to give credit and most of the time the th the beauty about it is that you can develop as a community and create something that's useful for the community. So some of you guys are probably interested, but most of you are probably wonder what jobs are available. So on the maintenance side, you have system administrators that keep the lights on. Uh, they create users. They do a lot of neat stuff that is pretty useful for the business. And it's just more of a maintenance role. Network admins, uh, believe it or not, Linux makes a really good networking tool. And usually these two go hand in hand. Um, most of the times, the most Unix admins are system and network admins at the same time, depending on the size of the operations. And support technicians. Uh, most support technicians that are Linux are very valuable because they can create scripts and a lot of cool automation tools. Now, a little bit in the middle is something that I don't really talk about, but DevOps, which is the process of, it's like a maintenance process and uh, for development. So you have to know a little bit of development and a little bit of system administration. And that's what makes you such a dangerous tool in DevOps. So definitely knowing Linux is something that you must not need to, but must have to land a DevOps role. Um, system engineers, definitely system engineers are probably around, uh, going to do a lot of Linux, uh, work because Linux just is an essential building block to developing uh, a lot of technology stacks because LAMP, yes, LAMP is based off of Linux because you have your Apache server. Uh, generally, you don't want to use Windows for web servers because Windows happens to have a lot of vulnerabilities and Linux just, you know, it's it's Linux, you know, it, it could be as uh, secure as Fort Knox or, you know, you could let everything communicate with it. It's just so robust. Um, and I, I'm not, I do use Windows servers. It's very easy to just get things up and running, but uh, I don't want to make you guys think that I'm pro, I am pro Linux, but you know, more that I hate Windows. Anyways, ethical hackers, definitely Kali Linux is a tool that is used for uh, penetration testing. And there's a lot of other Linux penetration testing tools. So it's definitely something that is used by uh, the hacking community. Uh, data scientists, definitely uh, Linux shines when it comes to interfacing with databases and sorting out data. So Linux is very good at piping data in and out. So data scientists probably are going to work on Unix machines slash Unix slash Linux machines. They're not typically going to work with Windows machines for interfacing with databases because let me tell you a story about a company I used to work with that used a Windows database system. It was horrible. They had issues. Not a fan. Not cool. Anyways, um, IoT engineer. A lot of um, systems that, you know, let me just start here. Linux works so well at interfacing through the network that is just built to do networking communication. And it's a really, it's a really good technology to, for hyper converged environments. So yeah, Linux is probably going to be a tool that you want to use if you're doing some IOT engineering and need to get different data, data inputs from different machines. Um, so let's stop here. So what are the possibilities that you can do with Linux? There's so many, but one of them is scripting. Bash scripting is just, so well integrated and the fact that when you use bash scripting you can actually interface between applications that you develop like you know node.js or other programming languages and then you can just interface with the actual system now typically it's a little bit dangerous because you don't want to let your applications access your system but like i was saying it's as robust as controlling different systems so it's very 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 um 
very efficient at doing a lot of automation and API calls. Um, the process of uh, processes understanding. So because and I've worded this really, really bad, so don't uh, don't kill me for this. But Linux helps you understand how uh, operating system just does its thing. Uh, we don't really get taught too much about that in regards to Windows, uh, especially from from an entry level. But when uh, Linux forces you to learn, hey, this is what the system is. This is all the processes that are going on the system. And it's so essential for you to learn and understand the different processes that are going on because Linux usually doesn't give you a GUI and their GUI is not very good at representing what's going on on the system. So you had a deep dive. So it's kind of like the matrix where you got to know what's going on in the system and how it works. And Linux kind of forces you to do a lot of amazing stuff. Uh, it's kind of hard at first. And it's definitely frustrating, but it's a very rewarding feeling and very rewarding experience because you get to do a lot of cool stuff. Um, it's a serious tool regardless of the field. It doesn't matter if you're gonna be an IT professional or if you're just a business owner running your business. You could do so many things regardless. Uh, you can use it in science. Uh, you can develop robotics with Linux. It's just so, it's such a powerful tool. And once we can get more people in this, using this tool, it's gonna be so effective for everybody and getting stuff done. So the future looks bright. With a lot of things relying on converged technology, Linux makes a great tool for the future. And it speaks for itself. There's so many things that are just running on the internet nowadays and everything's connected. What is a better system than Linux? It's a basic building block that has many uses and applications from web servers to maybe home automation systems. We don't know the possibilities because we haven't tapped into Linux's full potential. So that's something to keep in mind that it's just going to, it's going to be a valuable skill and it's definitely going to be something that's going to provide jobs and even provide solutions. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video through. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at hello at velit.net. And this little snippet or little video was developed by the people over at velit.net, which is just me at this moment, but we had more people, unfortunately, they left and we're looking for talent. So if you want to collaborate with us, let us know. And thank you so much for watching.